What's up guys? Today I'm going to be installing this short shifter from WK Motorsports for my GE8 Honda Fit. Now I believe I am the first person in the US to have this shifter as it just went on sale at the beginning of the new year. So I'm really pumped to uh, have it. I've been looking for a shifter for a very long time and wasn't able to find uh, a one that was at least a super easy bolt-in, um, like direct bolt-in. And this one came out, which was awesome. They also have shifters for the Evo X, the first and the third generation Honda Fit, and a few other vehicles. So if you're interested, please hit them up on their Facebook or Instagram, uh, and they'll be able to help you out. Um, but for now, uh, I will show you guys what's on the inside. But actually, before that, I just want to talk about uh, packaging, how awesome this is that they send it out in this kind of rugged box, um, which is really, really cool and different compared to other manufacturers. So what counts is on the inside pop this guy open Whoa. and there we go piste de resistance so obviously plenty of packing material here styrofoam or padding whatever you want to call it to keep it nice and secure inside you get this little package where you get instructions uh, the uh, connecting piece from the shift rod to the arm here that will go to the shifter ar or the shifter um, cable. Jeez, losing my mind. You also have a two inch collar here so that you can raise the shift knob up and an extra zip tie in there. I'm taking some of this stuff out quickly. Uh, I got two shift knobs. In my order, I have a steel one and an aluminum one. Uh, the aluminum one is in this like teardrop shape. And then this one is, I guess, in this oblong shape. It weighs a little bit more. And the third option that they have is one that's actually coated in carbon fiber. And that weighs the most out of it all. So you get a nice weighted feel out of it. Uh, on top of that, uh, they provide you with these uh, plastic bushings. So for the front and for the rear, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see. Um, and then also one thing that I did want to note is that unfortunately the instructions they send are not in English. So if you are able to translate that, that'd be pretty cool. I might use Google Translate a little bit later, but it's I know it's a pretty straightforward install from watching other people's videos installing the same shifter or the same design shifter um, into the Evo X or the first or the third gen uh, Honda Fit. Um, so yeah, I'll just pop this guy up here so you guys get a good look at it. And then one thing that's pretty cool, they have the spring over here, so it's self-centering. So if I shift and push uh, a little hard to do right now one-handed but if I push it out of the way it self-centers itself which is pretty cool so what I'm gonna do right now is actually before I install this I'm actually gonna go out to drive with the stock shifter show you guys how that guy shifts uh, and then also measure out the throws you know the distance from uh, neutral and center and then shifting it into third and fourth to see uh, the throw distance and then I'm going to install this guy, show you guys how I do that, and then measure the same distances and go out for a drive and show you how that guy shifts while I drive. So I'm really pumped about this. It's finally great to have a nice short shifter for the fit. So let me show you how the stock shifter feels and drives. I'm sure you guys know, but just want to show for the people that don't know. And then we'll go on to install it and then drive with this bad boy. So what I want to show you guys right now is the distance of the stock shifter throw right now. So really in the throw from first to second, third, fourth, and then, you know, fifth to reverse, that throw is going to be the same as third to fourth. So I'm just going to measure the distance from right now, neutral center to third. And then after that, just for fun, I'm also going to measure the, the throw down into fourth so we can see how many inches uh, the throw is right now and then compare it to uh, the WK Motorsports shifter. So this is going to be a little bit rough. 
Uh, I'm going to try to get this as accurate as I can, but right now I'm going to hold it in place. So I more or less have the, let's see here, the center of the shifter is at six inches. So what I'm going to do is obviously put it forward. And now the center of the shifter is at about, what, four or three and a half. So that's one, two and a half inches of throw going into third or forward. Now going back, kind of lining it back up, center of the shifter is still at six inches. And now going into fourth, it's about the same. So one, two and a half inches uh, is the throw distance, which is kind of crazy. That's a huge throw. I mean, I know this thing's pretty sloppy, but um, what uh, WK marketed uh, their shifter as is to... Um, it's a short shifter that is 45%, I believe, to 55% shorter than that. So that will be pretty impressive. Now, this is going to be pretty hard, but I'm going to try to do the side-to-side -side movement here and measure that while holding the shifter, holding this ruler in place. So more or less in the center, I have it at 6 inches. Moving it over towards the left, towards first, that movement is... Oops, sorry. Okay, so we have that centered again is about one, almost two inches in side movement. The shifter too is, as you can see, pretty loose. It's When it comes to center, it's not very stiff, so it's hard to get it truly centered. And then going from here again out, it's about an inch and a half going to the right. So let's try that again just to make sure I didn't move the ruler while I did it to the left. It could be, again, the play in the shifter. So I've got it centered more or less at 6, going to the left about 2 inches. So did I, did I move that? Let's see. Let's do that again. Okay, holding it, going. Yeah, I mean, you can see how this stock shifter just moves around so much. But anyways... Going to go for a quick drive right now so you guys can see kind of the throws while I drive it around. And then after that, we'll install the new shifter and do the same test and go for a drive again. Okay, so I got the car nice and warmed up. So now we'll just go for just a quick drive around uh, the parking lot over here. I'm sure you guys are going to get the idea uh, more or less of the shifter so I don't want to you know extend the video too long by driving for 10 or 15 minutes um, So let's go. I really don't like the shifter and I'm excited for the WK So first over there So as you guys can see not horrible but still not the best especially in my case because I track my fit and I want to have the most direct input as possible um, also if any of you guys know a solution for the really crappy stock clutch please let me know um, or more or less I meant for the clutch master cylinder um, I know there's a couple people that have done some kind of modifications to some Civic Clutch Master Cylinders uh, and they've made them work on the fit. So if you guys know of anything, please let me know. I'm trying to uh, get rid of the stock one as it has that bypass valve or whatever. It's kind of weird and I really don't like it. It gives a really you know, really bad feedback on the track. But anyways, quick drive around the block as you guys see. Stock shifter. I mean, it's comfortable, you know, for a daily driver, someone that's not really, someone that really doesn't care too much about performance. You know, the throws are nice and long. So, so be it. Okay, removing the shifter is actually kind of, uh, removing the shifter you have to remove the center console and that's actually pretty easy. Um, all you really are gonna need is an eight millimeter um, socket. There we go. And then a 12 millimeter socket. The 12 millimeter socket is used for the shifter itself. 
Um, so the eight millimeter back in this far back cubby, there is an eight millimeter screw that you have to remove. After that, there's a plastic piece over here that I already popped off. I used a trim tool to pop that off. You take off the shift knob and then down here, there's on the driver and the passenger side, there are these plastic screws with a flathead, whoops, flathead on them that you can just uh, unscrew and then pop those off. And then you can easily take off the center console. Now this is kind of disgusting after all these years of use. So um, the four bolts, there's one, two, three right underneath the shifter cable and the fourth is right there. Uh, so then uh, to remove these guys, there's a cotter pin that attaches it to the shifter. And then there's a metal bracket or a clip uh, that secures this uh, shifter cable in place. So that has to get popped off. So I'm going to do that quickly. And then I'm going to uh, install the WK Motorsport shifter and uh, show you guys how to attach the... Um, that specific piece that goes from the shifter to the shift, uh, to the, um, my gosh, I can't talk it from the shifter itself to the, um, plate that attaches to the second, uh, shifter cable. Once you remove the stock shifter or your other aftermarket shifter installation process is basically exactly the same. Now, one thing that I do want to note on the, the WK shifter, is that it had this adapt uh this oh my gosh i forgot what i called it earlier but this piece right here um it comes separately so you have to attach it uh before you install uh the shifter so what you have to do is there's a little cotter pin here that you pop out you pop this uh the socket onto the ball firmly it's already like lubricated in there it has a couple uh it has some um what is it called uh not lube but uh Grease, there we go. Pop the cotter pin back on, do the same for the bottom. Now down here is where you kind of have your adjustment for the side, oh, my hand was in the way. The, uh, put that down right there for the side to side motion right there. So if you wanna shorten that throw up, what you wanna do is unattach this piece right here or the bottom piece and then rotate the screw uh, cause that's a threaded rod in there. Rotate that throughout tighten that back up. And then if you want even more or less, you can use these adjustments down here. So you uh, take that off, I believe it's a 12. It might be a 12. You might use a deep 12, pop that off and either raise it up or down. Um, so I'm just gonna reinstall this uh, right now. Uh, and then I'm gonna just kind of fast forward through uh, the reinstallation process since it's pretty straightforward. Um, one thing that I do wanna note um, if you already took these guys off, just remember that the thicker uh, bushings go towards the rear or by the e-brake. Um, oop, drop that guy. And the thinner uh, bushings go towards the front by the shifter cables. And as well, you're going to have to reuse the cotter pin um, as well as the little uh, spacer that came off the stock or the aftermarket shifter. Um... And yeah, it's uh, as easy as it was uninstalling the shifter. And then uh, after I get that installed, I'll go for a quick drive and show you guys how um, it performs. And then I'll probably do some fine tuning uh, in the future just to get, get it to the point where I like it. So let's get to it.
overall impression, I'm very impressed with the build quality and just how it feels right now. Like I have the car running, I'll shut it off quickly, but just the movement from side to side already, I feel like is decreased and I have even more adjustment than that. So I can go even shorter or longer if I wanted to from, from left to right. And then the movement from third to fourth is ridiculous. It just feels like, it almost feels like a sequential, you know, you're going up and down and it, it, it feels great. Now, one thing that I am going to do is I'm going to add this um, spacer that they provided just so that the shifter sits a little bit taller, closer to my hand. Um, but that's just preference. So this knob threads out all the way. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's like a super extended thread there. Um, now, I don't know off the top of my head what this thread pitch is. It does seem like it's uh, not the same as the OEM pitch. Yeah, it's a much larger. Um, so we, uh, you might be limited to shifter, um, shift knob options, uh, unfortunately. But uh, once I figure that out, I'm sure it'll be easier to get adapter plates. So just going to slide that guy on so it's slightly taller. Put the WK logo straight. Beautiful, nice and tight. And now I'll go for a quick drive here and see how this baby feels uh, in the real world, so to say. So we're in neutral. Oh, um, and as you can probably see, unfortunately uh, the bezel, where did I put it? It's somewhere in the back. Um, the shifter boot cover and the bezel does have to be removed because the fitment is so tight. Now, some people might not, let, might not like that, but for myself, I'm okay with it. It gives it more of a kind of a race car look. And I'm sure maybe in the future, somehow I will find a way to kind of cover this up a little bit, but I'm actually pretty happy. I'm, I'm content with how it looks. Um, so let's go for that initial test drive. I'm gonna keep the lights on just so you guys can see. Oh, actually, before I go driving, I'm gonna turn this guy off and let's do the measurement test. Um, so last time, if I remember correctly, this might be a little bit harder now just because uh, the shifter is different, but I, use, I went from six inches. So I basically have the center right there oop, um, at six inches. I'm going to move up and I'm in gear. That's half an inch. I'm going to go into neutral, go down a little bit more than half an inch. Go back down into neutral here. I'm going to press the clutch in just to make sure maybe I get into gear. So there we go. Now I'm in gear. So that's an inch going from six an inch that's insane so if you guys remember the oem shifter went from six to about eight and a half if i remember correctly it was one two and a half almost inches the same going down so now if i do the opposite here and i go from six inches here and i go to the left it's about an inch and an inch that way that's nuts and the best part is is look how there's no movement compared to the oem shifter i mean minimal but it, it goes straight back into the center that spring right there the self-centering the self-centering spring does its job exactly goes straight to the center so you have no issues with like money shifting or anything like that all right okay Let's go drive. I want to drive now. I want to feel first gear. All right. And I'm in second. That is nuts. This is so great. Now, I know there's some adjustment going from left to right, you know, left to do, but already just that. <laughs> this feels great. 
and it's so much more like, uh, how do I put it? It's such a mechanical, like, engagement. Like, whereas before, like, with the stock shifter, it felt so loose that half the time I wasn't sure if I was actually getting into gear. And then third. Second. Let's see how good on that. This is, wow. Right. Second, third. We'll do a, get on a little bit of a straight here and let me see if I can just. All right. Now I know it's a fit and it's a little slow but I'll do a little bit of a pull here just to go through all the gears. But I am very, very happy with the purchase. Now, uh, it took about, oh, I don't know. I bought it on New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, and today is the 17th, I, or no, today's the 12th. Um, wow, I'm losing my mind. I'm working too much. Don't know what day it is. So it took, it took about 10 days to get shipped. That's really good. And I didn't want to mention this in the beginning, but this shifter was actually uh, designed and made in China. And I know a lot of people are very hesitant about that because, oh, you know, Chinese eBay parts, da 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 they're crappy. But they actually went and did really, like a really great design. And it's, it's not cheap whatsoever. Like it's super sturdy, made with really good materials and it, it doesn't I'm happy I'm really happy all right so I'm gonna downshift in the second here and let's lift that is freaking great I am really happy with this. So, just so that I shut up finally, uh, thank you guys for watching the video so much. Please like and comment down below if you guys have any questions about the shifter or anything else. I will be more than happy to help you guys with that. Um, as well, if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe. Uh, you know, this, the winter, even though it's almost full force here in Chicago now, uh, January 12th, um, the race season is upon us and there will be way more content coming out. I have a few more projects with the Fit, a few more projects with the Evo before the season starts, and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. So until the next video, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.